this is an AGR pendulum impact tester. Uh, it's a real good method for evaluating impact resistance of bottles. Uh, there's not a lot of adjustments to make. There's three primary adjustments you'll have to be aware of first. The first thing is the type of backstop. For a lot of the testing today, we will use a V backstop because it works well with brown bottles. It automatically centers the bottle so you don't have to worry about position so much. Uh, the second thing you want to worry about is bottle diameter. In this case, the tester is set up for a slightly bigger bottle, so I just crank it over until the bottom of the pendulum touches the bottle, the bottom dead stroke. Uh, the final adjustment we really want to make is for the impact height on the bottles. Uh, impact is fairly localized, so if you impact at the shoulder, it doesn't have any effect on the heel, and if you impact at the heel, it has no effect on the shoulder. In this case, we're doing an upper sidewall impact to the bottle, but you can pick the impact site depending on the location you want to test. The severity of the impact is judged by how far you crank the handle back. Uh, the skill is either in inches per second or energy units, however you want to do it. There are several different ways of doing impact testing. Most commonly when we do testing at AGR, we take the bottle first in order to keep the pieces together to allow for fracture analysis. The nice thing about that is that you do not have to worry about losing the origin in most cases and you can look at to see the specific type of defect that caused it to fill. For hinge stresses, the type we want to talk about, we normally put three spots on the bottle, three equally spaced spots, and impact once at each spot for the location. Now the type of impact test you can do a progressive test which means you start at a low level and build up until it fails or you can do a one shot deal which would be like a pass test. For most of our testing here we're going to do a progressive test just to demonstrate it. So I have the bottle position, we'll start at a level of 25 inches per second which should be well below the breaking level. Just one small break, one small break, three times no break. So the bottle is imp incremented by five inches per second and the test repeated. In that case, the bottle survived two impacts at 45 inches per second and broke on the third. Uh, the nice thing about a hinge impact test is we fully test the full outside surface of the container, so I'm pretty sure that with those three impacts I will find the weakest defect. Now the curious thing about that impact is that the impact site is clearly visible on the sample. However, that's not the fracture origin. The fracture origin was off on the side in the hinge stress region. So when we want to do fraction analysis of the sample, we need to re remove that piece of glass. 